This video is for dietetic students at the University of Idaho who are enrolled in the FCS 365 Advanced Nutrition Lab. The purpose of this video is to provide instructions on how to collect, record, and submit the three-day diet analysis data information using NutriCount Plus. This data will be used during the term for various labs and will be part of your grade. So what I need you to do is to collect your food intake for three consecutive days. Uh, it doesn't really matter what days you use, something that is typical. Uh, some, some people like to keep their diet um, information on three days where they basically have control of their diet and they'll see how good they're doing because they want information on that. Uh, some people like to do it on the weekends when it's more typical. Uh, some like to do it when they're rushed to see um, how bad it is sometimes. Uh, but uh, my interest is that you do something that's very typical uh, of your daily intake. Uh, I don't want you to change anything. I don't want you to eat better than you normally do. I want you to eat just like you would normally eat. Um, and you're, you're going to be using this as a baseline for the rest of the term uh, and for different labs that we're going to be doing, we are going to uh, use that information on the three-day diet data to compare with um, how you're doing in different nutritional categories and see if there's any adjustments that you could make after we do some lab analysis um, and uh, doing that. So uh, three consecutive days. Uh, so you need to basically uh, look at and write down, I would do a, use a separate piece of paper and write down uh, uh, on three pieces of paper or front back on one and a half pieces of paper, whatever you want. And then we're going to be taking that information and recording it on uh, NutriCount Plus. Uh, now, I, I don't expect you to weigh your food or anything like that, but if you look at this uh, secret of serving sizes in your hand, you can do kind of a rough guesstimate of how big of a piece of meat you're, you're eating um, and uh, do some uh, analysis using that information because, it, you know, you're not going to be exact on your weight or your uh food amounts, but it'll be close enough for our purposes. So three consecutive days, I'll write down everything you eat and drink uh, on a separate piece of paper, and then we're gonna take that information and record it in NutriCalc Plus. Uh, now NutriCalc Plus is something you're going to be purchasing. Uh, you're gonna be purchasing a link um, to NutriCalc Plus. And then once you uh, purchase that link, you will be led to this page. Uh, so what you need to do, first of all, when you get to this page is set up a personal profile. So that pers personal profile is basically going to set the DRI and recommendations for who you say you are. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, when you de when you uh, put in your information about who you are, uh, based on that information, th there is a uh, recommendation or a DRI that is going to be used to compare to what you actually eat uh, in your three-day menu, you know, three-day diet thing. So what you need to do is select one of the pro. It doesn't matter which one. They give you two options. They're both the same. So just select a profile. And then <clears throat> when you select that profile, you will be taken to this page. And so what you want, need to do is select a new profile. Uh, and then you'll see that you'll have the uh, information you need to fill in about your name, your birth date, your gender. Um, now under gender, uh, you can choose, obviously, uh, the drop down menu will give you male, female, pregnant, lactating. So whatever fits your uh, profile, then that's what you'd use. Height and weight, um, you know, you can put whatever you want in there. Uh, you do have the option to choose if you want to lose weight or gain weight, but that's not really our interest. Our interest is to, to know where you are now. And if you plan to stay there, uh, 
um, then you wouldn't put anything. You just put zero on, the, on there. The next page then, after you enter all your data, um, uh, will allow you to create that profile. Now you'll notice that it has activity level there at the bottom. And that activity level, if you uh, click on um, the inside of the box where it says low active, if you just click on that, you will get the following information. So you'll see uh, it, it will tell you basically what the program um, thinks is sedentary, low active, active, and very active. A lot of patients or you know, people who do these uh, overestimate their activity level. So this kind of gives you an idea of what the program thinks is low active. So just kind of read that information and see where you fit in. Uh, and then you can actually just click on one of those and it will select it for you. So then from there, you would create your profile. Then um, with that profile done, you're then going to be putting in the food that you kept on your three days that you um, put on your separate pieces of paper. So select intakes, but there's another intake as you see down below. Um, but either one of those, just select intake. Then what it'll do is ask you to put in what day you are putting in your intake, uh, food intake in. So select the day that, you know, the first day that you did it. And then you're going to be searching for foods. So when you search for foods, um, you want to be as specific as possible. It, if you just put bread in there, for example, uh, you're going to get everything that's in the program that deals with bread, right? So the regular bread you think about, but it's also going to have bread pudding or what, anything that has the word bread in it. So be as specific as possible. For example, if, instead of putting just bread, you'd want to put something like whole wheat bread, something like that. And um, that's going to get it to be a little bit more specific uh, about uh, and kind of narrow down your choices of what you're going to choose. So once you do that, then it's going to give you the option of what kind of bread that you actually ate. So you're just going to choose to add one. And so you see the arrow, you just you just click on the add button when you find the correct bread that you ate. Uh, and then it's automatically going to record that for you. Uh, once you get that recorded though, you'll notice where the arrow is, it's going to ask you when you ate that bread. Did you eat it for breakfast? Did you eat it as a snack? Did you eat it for lunch? Did you eat it for dinner? Um, you know, when, when did you eat that? And then how much did you eat? So for like a bread, uh, it's going to give the option of a slice or actually it gives you weight or uh, different options. Um, for something that you would drink, it's going to give you ounces or cups or and it also uses metrics if you're into metrics and gives you grams, and that kind of thing. Um, so what I would do is, first of all, choose what um, your serving is, whether it's a slice, whether it's a cup, whether it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon, and then determine how many. Go to the amount and say, so for example, like if you had two slices of bread, then you'd put two slices, you know, slice, and then put the amount would be two. Um, and then I would recommend going ahead and once you get that all done, saving your changes just to make sure that you're saving them. And then the next step would be just to the next step would be just to continue adding new foods. Uh, so, for example, if you had peanut butter on your bread, um, if you had a peanut butter sandwich or something, then you just type in peanut butter and uh, find it. And it you know the, you'll have to choose which one is closest to what you ate. It's not going to probably be the exact brand um, that you have, but it will give the option of chunky or 
whatever, GIF, probably some of the major brands. You just have to get as close as you can. That also goes uh, for some of you that may um, be from a different culture and you have foods that aren't typical American cuisine, if you will. Uh, you're just going to have to choose something that's close because it may not be in there because in the program, pretty much all the foods are typical American foods. I mean, there will be some cultural foods, but uh, if you, um, you know, cook from scratch and you use uh, some ingredients that we don't normally have in this country, then you may have to just get as close as you possibly can to what it is and do that. But just do the best you can. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be good enough for our purposes. So anyway, you just keep adding foods until you get done with that one day. And then obviously you're going to save it um, and save that whole day. Uh, so save your changes. Uh, and then the next option would be to choose a new intake day. So choose your second day uh, and do the same thing. Just keep adding food and drink uh, until you finish it and then make sure you save it. But once again, I would, I would save after each food. It's going to give you that option because, you know, you may be halfway through and something happens with your server and you've lost everything and you have to start all over. So if you save after each food, if something happens, then you can start there and add new foods after that, after everything gets corrected. So you just basically go through this for the three days. Um, and then uh, just keep adding those and repeat as before. Once you're done with all three days, then you are going to go and click on the reports section. And when you click on the reports section, what you want to be looking for is the all daily reports. The all daily reports is going to include all of those um, options you see above it. So if you just click on that, um, that basically is going to be um, everything you need. Um, and then what you need to do after you click on that, then it's going to ask you what your student name is and the instructor's name. Um, just put Brooke or something. Uh, and then your course section. You know, that's not really of any interest to me, but uh, it's just part of it. So you just have to fill those in. And then you want to select all of the three days that um, you uh, had in your your intake. Uh, so it doesn't look like my brackets are correct, but you're basically just going to check, you know, day one, day two, day three, uh, and um, then basically choose the report format. Please put it in a PDF format. Uh, I don't know what it'll show on yours, but just go in and select the PDF format and then view the report. Uh, and what it will show you basically is you should see at the top all daily reports. And now this this report is going to be, it can be up to 15 pages long uh, because it's going to give you recommendations. It's going to give you a graph that we're going to be using through the term, but it'll also give you uh, all of the, the spreadsheet. So it'll tell you uh, for each food that you ate, uh, how many calories was in the food, how many carbohydrates, proteins, fiber, lipids, um, uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, the B vitamins, vitamin D, calcium, the whole works. And so uh, it will give you, you know, uh, depending on how much food you ate, between 15 and 20 pages. Um, but you don't need to print that out because you're going to turn it in online, but um, you'll want to download it. You notice where the arrow uh, points, you will want to download this uh, and then you're going to save it. So when you save your file, you know, when you see, just go file, save or however option you have to save it, uh, you can either open it or save the file, but save it somewhere where you can find it because what you're going to be doing is going into Blackboard 
And in on the main page of Blackboard, you're going to see three-day diet data. And there will be a link um, within that file to um, upload the uh, diet data. Um, so, and then that will be, you'll be submitting that and then that will be graded. So, so basically you don't have to write anything. You just have to get this done and submit it uh, and make sure you know where it is because throughout the term, uh, when we do some of the lab testing and we see where you're at, then um, we can look at your diet data as if you were a patient uh, and see if you would have any recommendations basically for yourself <laughs> on how you may, uh, what things you could possibly eat that would uh, better increase your iron levels or something like that. So that's it. I hope that helps uh, make this uh, easy for you. And we'll just go from there.